Hi, I'm Shubhra Pandit, a machine learning researcher here at Neural Magic. Today, I'd like to introduce an approach that can perform easy, fast, and accurate object detection on any machine, no GPU required. The main technique or magic that enables us to run machine learning on tasks on a CPU that typically require GPUs is called sparsification. Let me quickly introduce some key components of our platform. What sparsification creates is a sparsified model. These are models where a bulk of redundant information, such as overparameterized weights, have been carefully removed to keep only the necessary ones. These models are also typically quantized. To learn more about what sparsification is and how we sparsify models, take a look here. Next, we have our deep sparse engine that understands and can run inference on sparsified models. And last, we also have Sparse Zoo, a repository of state-of-the-art sparsified models. Sparse Zoo contains models for tasks like image classification, natural language processing, object detection, with more being added regularly. For object detection specifically, we have a dense as well as sparsified versions of the YOLO v5 family of models trained on the Coco dataset. So for the simplest pipeline, all you need to do is find the stub of an object detection model in Sparse Zoo, pass it into the Deep Sparse engine, and run the inference. The engine will automatically download and compile the model for easy testing and deployment. All right, now that we have an overview, let's walk through some Python code on how you can use a model from Sparse Zoo to perform object detection. For this example, I'll use a sparsified Ultralytics v 5 l model pre-trained on the COCO dataset, which is available in Sparse Zoo. So let's start by creating a new virtual environment. Always good practice. We'll then need to set up a deep sparse engine. It's a simple pip install. Once the installation is finished, in my Python script, the first thing I need to do is import pipeline from the deep sparse engine we just installed. The pipeline class is the main tool that has all the functionality we'll need for our pipeline. We then call create to construct a new pipeline object specifically for our task, object detection using YOLO in this case. And that's it. We can now run inference by simply passing in our raw images and getting our predictions and our bounding boxes. You can also use the annotate command to have the engine save an annotated image on disk. So we just saw how we could run inference on a pre-trained model from our sparse zoo. But what if you wanted to customize object detection for your own dataset, for your own use case? That's simple too. All you need to do is use one of our sparsified object detection models from sparse zoo and transfer the learning onto your dataset using this command. You can see how we're transfer learning onto the VOC dataset using a YOLO v5L sparsified model that was pre-trained on the COCO dataset that we got from Sparse Zoo. Sparse Zoo contains many different sparsified object detection models that are great starting points for sparse transfer. You could easily use sparse transfer learning using your own dataset for use cases such as autonomous driving, robotics, video analytics in retail, inventory management, contactless checkout, and so on. Finally, deploying these models is also pretty straightforward. The sparsified models can easily be deployed to the deep sparse server so you can directly run your models as a service and interface with it using RESTful APIs. So we just saw how you can easily build and deploy a sparsified object detection model for fast inference on CPUs using the deep sparse platform. At NeuralMagic, we are enabling you to run inference on any device and make machine learning tasks such as object detection simple, affordable, and more accessible. Do reach out on our Slack group and support forums if you have any questions. Happy exploring.